about the Summit 7 Southeast Asia qualifiers. This is a match between Team Happy Feet versus Faces in best of three series. We are in game number two of the of the series, and the current score is Happy Feet one, Faces zero. You are here with me, Cyclops, as your caster. That was a real quick game for the Faces. It seems like they had made a, uh, they have made a mistake during the draft. Um, I think it's all about the last pick hard carry, Spectre, and the fact that Happy Feet knows that Spectre gonna need a lot of time to farm it up, you know, get a Radiance, all those stuff. Once the Spectre got a Radiance, he still need more items to become tanky, and, well, <laughs> Happy Feet won't let you do so. So, yep, Faces being punished by Happy Feet in only around 26 minutes. Let's see how they're gonna come back in the second game. Yeah, Camille has been banned down and also Earth Spirits. It seems like Happy Feet won't let XY play his best hero. In the last game, XY played Monkey. Mm, let's say that he tried his best though, but it's just not good enough to win the game. So, first pick for Team Faces. What is it gonna be? A lot of good heroes. Axe, maybe? Five seconds remaining. And still, Axe, a Monkey King for XYs again. Dire team pick. Uh, okay. XY have played, have played two Monkey Radiant King games in a row. Uh, a game with Evos lost, and the last game of this um, of this match lost. This is his third Monkey King hero in the in a row. So. First two pick from Team Happy Feet is Lada and Lina. It was great play Five by um, by Ben Lina. Slada will be played by Jesse Wash. Reserve time. Faceless might have to think about about Axe while Happy Feet need to be careful about Timasol by uh, by Isai side. Radiant team back. In a reserve time, not Ten yet. But remaining. it seems like Faces spent so much time for this ban pick phase. Five seconds remaining. A bad one, and this scene has been banned out. No sign of reserve Axe yet. Time. I think they might have to ban that Axe. Life still a band out. A job. Radiant team back. Oh, by the way, you know. <laughs> That's a Coldplay concert in town today, remaining. and everyone is going, like, posing on Facebook, Hey man, you know, I'm Five at Coldplay. Uh, but, I would rather stay here casting Reserve games. <laughs> like, you know, I'm not so, like, not so into Coldplay, to be honest. <laughs> you guys never, you guys never hear me play Coldplay songs in, in the stream, right? <laughs> Maybe that's why. I don't want to say things up, but you know, some of my friends are going to watch Coldplay. They were like, oh, posting on Facebook, Twitter, hey, I'm here, you know, watching Chris Radiant Martin. I asked him, hey, then what song you like for Coldplay? And they said, they, I only know a few songs. Mm, okay. <laughs> All right, never mind. You know, it's, it's. Crystal Maiden once again for Happy Feet. 
It seems oh, like Happy Feet won't me. let Faces play Crystal Maiden as well. Do you know the fact that Team Faces is the best Dyer Crystal team Maiden team in the world? They picked a lot of Crystal Maiden and they have the highest win rate than any other team in the world. They have Park in this game. Will be played by Japs, I guess. Might be a Park for the mid laner. Ten Let's see how remaining. good is Jap Park. I haven't seen, I haven't cut Jap's game with a Park before, so this is kind of interesting. Reserve time. Warlock has been banned out. Ursa Warrior. Ursa Warrior for the Happy Feet. Radiant team pick. Well, inform me you guys first that we we are playing in like double elimination bracket here. This is this is the first match. So the the loser of this match will go down to a lower bracket. And the winner, Ten if I'm not wrong, is gonna proceed to the next round to play against team. Five seconds remaining. Ah, should be. Clutch gamers. Reserve time. Or, or maybe Warriors gaming. I think. Vengeful spirits. Vengeful spirits for the face. Yeah, it seems to be a vengeful back. spirits. That's a hard carry again by Black. They are the only team, or maybe, or maybe went full series as a position five by, by nuts. Still don't know yet. Ten seconds remaining. It might be V S as um. I'm pretty sure it's gonna five be V S position remaining. five. Because if you wanna play V S as a hard carry, you're gonna need more Reserve pushers. Time. In this case, you don't have any. Slark has been banned out by Happy Feet. Radiant Pretty good ban because back. Happy Feet picked Slark last game. And there's a chance that Faces will pick a Slark this game. Ten seconds remaining. <clears throat> Radiant team pick. Blade. Dire team pick. Oh, faces teleblade by, by black. Not bad. As I told you guys, you know this red full spirit has been picked because um, they will want to use swap to save teleblade whenever he gets low. So swap teleblade out Five and and so that he can what, just walk in and just using his thunder and also the aura of Vengeful Spirit is good for the pushing with Total Blade a lot of illusions good draft by Faces but let's see can this Total Blade survive from the super hard gang from team Happy Feet or not this Happy Feet is just like authentic um, Filipinos team that that really go all in in early game as you can see from the last game that in their, their early game is very strong. Templar Assassin. Templar Assassin. For Team Happy Feet will be played by Ben Hur.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the game already. Uh, let me do you guys some quick intro right here. Faces this game in a switch back to the radiant side. I side side, we'll be playing vengeful. I'm sorry, nuts. We'll be playing vengeful spirit black on total blade, Japs on puck, and I side side on Magnus XY on monkey king for team happy feet on the dire side. Jesse Watch on crystal maiden. Uh, ben on Templar Scene, RR on Lena, and Jules on Ursa, Jarge on Slada. No smoke coming out from both teams, they're just trying to secure their own body rune, I guess. Magnus. Thirty seconds to battle. None of them buy boots. Japs. Let's see how good is his puck. Gonna be playing against um, Lena by bin her once again. No, actually it's gonna be Lena as the as the fort. What a surprise. Meanwhile, top lane they're trying to chase down on a Jesse Wad. That dude definitely a first blood very fast. And black got it. Yeah, that's a lot of gold given to the black. Almost 300 gold. Face is running Teleblade in, in off lane with two supporters not so far away. I side side, they're trying to shut down that Ursa warrior. Pain Plaza scene will deal with Japs. Man fight between TA. Oh, quite aggressive by the puck. TA doesn't have his refraction up yet. He went for the first level side blades. Mm, side blades. Now finally a refraction. Bomb lane is Yarge and RR duo lane with this uh, eye side side. Here come Light Striker Razor is gonna hit, but RR doesn't have any skills to follow up after that. Top lane Teleblade with the highest uh, CS in the game. ICS and 49 for the Teleblade at the moment. XY trying to jump around. He's still level 1. Oh, who's gonna get the first regeneration rune? Picked up by Ben. Very lucky that he decided to go for a rune. It was a regen rune. Uh, I think Jeff didn't know what rune it is un until he his illusory just reached the rune. So. He didn't land it. Shrine has been used. Two. A shock. Oh, need to be careful for the vengeful spirit. One hit, maybe Primal Spring comes out. It's still a tri lane anyway for Team Faces, so don't overextend for Team Happy Feet. Top lane Jules might get dropped off. Jump down with the Primal Spring. Jules dropping quite low, diving in for the Teleblade, nobody comes in and tape him. He still was just one hit away, trying to juke, running away from XY, XY finishing with his mate, but however, 
They might have to lose on one. And maybe two. Nope. Teleblade farming quite good. Rotate himself to the bottom lane, dealing with a charge. It's gonna be quite hard for TB. Now the Citrine Crush come out no. and Yarch! Made the missile bear of terror! Stand in RR. Jeff taking some damage. Take a look at the graph, it seems like Happy Feet is still ahead in terms of golden XP return. They always have a better laning phase for Happy Feet. Black seems to be the only hope of team faces at the moment. Or you got three of Aquila. Uh, I might just go for maybe an Arcane Boot and the Eel Scepter Divinity for an easy setup. Pretty nice placing of the wards here to see the gang from Lena at this area. Why? Oh, take a look at top. This might be the first attempt to take down uh, that ice ice side. But Chris then missed his Chris Nova. Ice ice side skewer himself away behind the tower. He being found at creeps. Chris Madden. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Soldier's fortune. That is a network. Network leading by the Teleblade. Now he just got the free farm at the bottom. Ring of Quila and a brown boot. Maybe going straight to a Dragonlance. Get a mentor up. It's quite hard for Park to deal with that. Um, TA because of the refraction. Only three kills, unlike the first game. This game is kind of like passive in the first 10 minutes. Might have to. Oh, that side blades! Almost killed the jabs, and he's going to dive in for Ben Her. He got a reach in for the jabs. XY winning. The first smoke in it came to the bottom lane and trying to catch that Teleblade. That Teleblade still level 5 doesn't have Thunder yet. They might need to start with a frostbite. They have to Come switch on, position. Now they saw. Is that a real turtle blade? That started off with a crystal nova and a frostbite like strike array. Easy kill by Yarch. Nice catch. Face and support might need to reply something. XY position 4. Jumping here and there, Jules, pick up the Barbary rune. Money to burn. Dyer's top tower. Four heroes ganking Ben in the middle. Side off with a dream coil, but two teleport down right away. Very nice save by the two supports. 
Jumping down, trying to land some Primal Spring, but he kind of stuck in a tree line. He jumped to another tree and teleport. Nice save with the support of Team Happy Feet. Good reaction time. Top lane, let's take a look. Yach. Third blade is quite fat. Now he got a power triad, ring of Aquila, and quelling blade. 260 gold in his pocket in around 10 minutes. For the towers. Here comes the Sinic Trap. <laughs> That's slow moving. This will come in handy. It seems that the graph creep keep. Dropping down to team Happy Feet. Mm, well, not looking so good for the Faces fans. Illusion. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Elsa, Earth Chalk. Bitcoin trying to run away. One hit easily kill on the XY. You're trying to jump on a tree. He was a little you too late. Die, to it. die on the ground. Do you know in I the city that I was born in Thailand is actually named Lopuri. And one thing I remember about my childhood is in Lopuri we got a lot of monkeys. I mean I mean the real monkeys are living in the town with us. So Every day that I oh wait, uh, story later. It seems like there will be another fight at the bottom lane. Uh, I side side coming in. Here we go. The um, five more spring. I become three v three. Happy feet rotate to the bottom, getting ready for the fight. Are they gonna go in? Seems like Teleblade is just gonna skip the Dragon Lance and going straight for the Mentor Style. In order, the the reason that he has to rush the Mentor Style because he gotta play with that Corsi pace. Whenever he got Corsi pace in a team fight, he can just easily use the Mentor Style to to repel it. I'm sorry to um, dispel. That is quite good. Why? Dyer's top tower is under attack. Top lane, some fight here. They're trying to get that Urza. RP is just one hero. RR, however, finish someone at the bottom. But we'll keep. And yep, nice trade there. One for one. A good trade for team faces. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Power strike. Power denied. Going in for XY. Frostbite comes out. XY being stabbed by that Ben. 3 to 5. The bounty which my nature has prized.
depths. That's a graph still on happy feet side. Now I think it's it's reaching the point of team face. Oh, team face! I, I was about to say face that needs to grouping up, and look at that swipe first by team Happy Feet, but they lost the main damage dealers already. It's too fast, and Black got one more. Now it's time for team faces to diving in. Tower still shooting the monkey. That was a night nice fight by team faces, and the fact that they are grouping up together, they can just go for one more five to five game score. But it seems like Happy Feet is about to lose another tower. Not sure how they're gonna defend that one. RR uh, uh, don't wanna go in too near. X wide on a tree, get some vision. Slada, uh, dropping load. Die because of the violet strike. Take down that jab first, and now they are hunting for the monkey. X Y, the west of tree, he's trying to jump on a tree. But he will... Oh, Dragon Slay from long range! Killing spree for RR! Not bad for a position 5 Lina. Actually position 4 Lina. Arcane Boot and the Wind Lay to increase his movement speed. Just gonna go for the next item, the um, Eel Scepter of Divinity. This is more like a race to 10 kills. The first 10 kill, who is going to get Dyer's it? Bottom tower is under attack. Ursa Warrior, that's quite fat. He got a face boot and the um, Vladimir. Normally, Ursa Warrior these days is always going for something like a Hammer Dominator instead of Vladimir. Now, I'm like, kind of glad to see this guy stick to me over Latmir because I think it's more useful. Giving his teammate some vampiric aura. Latmir aura. Radiance top tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. This will kill him. Dyer's bottom tower Black. has fallen. Got the mental style. Informing you guys right here that after this match, Dyer's it's going to be Team Fnatic new with lineup. Their build match versus Team TNC. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I know it's a Friday night and you guys want to go out and hang. But you can't miss the debut of this team. They have spent months to forming that team. And look at that. XY nicely doing crush by Jarge coming out and crush on two. Ice, ice, ice goes down real quick. And next one is going to be XY. I'm sorry. Not. Desolators already for 10 plus the scene. Ring of Aquila. And Aegis of Immortal with 1.3k gold in his pocket. That is super fat TA. Meanwhile, they're trying to catch the jabs. He's around here, Ra a Laguna Blade, and died because of the Crystal Nova. Doesn't look good at all for team faces. And the first 10 kills go to team Happy Feet. Two games. A very bad early game for team faces. Now this is not looking good at all because Faces seem to put everything on one man, which is which is Black Turtle Blade, and that's that is kind of too much workload for him. Gaps cannot do much at all here. He doesn't have his um, Wheel of Discord yet. He's just gonna go straight to Eel of Scepter. The the fact that he's going for Eel of Scepter, he gonna lack of the damage from the Wheel of Discord. Agony Scepter for Ursa Warrior. That's kind of weird because normally Ursa always go for a Skull Basher first and then Agony. A 
bounty. Shows. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Top lane shows. They got a defensive tower, it doesn't matter that it kills a lot and kind of so far ahead, but they keep losing tower like that. It would be bad. Uh, I mean, it would be much easier for Team Faces to farm because they got more, uh, what, more area to play. Happy feet. Temper is in the school for on his way to a Hurricane Pike now. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, he Happy Feet is ready to fight because still got an Aegis on Templar Sassin. And only two hit jabs down. That's the core heroes of Team Faces. Informing you guys again, whoever loses this match will go down to the lower bracket. Oh, not a looking... Not a good diving in like that for the Slada. His teammate was too slow. Going in alone and RR, however, finish off that XY with Laguna Blade. Ben, get rid of that ice, the sports. Seems like Teleblade got away. He need that mental style so bad to counter the corrosive haze. And yeah. Skill Scepter, Light Striker A, trying to skill her away, but it was too late, uh, too much damage produced by that Urza Warrior. All Kid of Malevolence and Templar Assassin is gonna go for uh, Bloodthorn to deal with that puck. So silence the puck, that's it. Yarge with a hand of Midas and a slaughter. That is quite a good farm. I'm gonna show you guys some items update right there. That's the items. Radiance bottom There's a warrior on the bottom lane. Radiant structures are fortified. Getting closer and closer to his agony scepter while faces know that they cannot split anymore. Happy Feet got too much damage to kill them in a one-on-one -on -one situation, so they're just gonna stick up. S5 trying to push the last out tower team Happy Feet got Radiant's right here. Only around like 300 HP. Jules to the middle lane. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Going in first by that Jules. Jules doesn't have an Aegis. But here come Wukong's command causing some chaos in Happy Feet's lineup. Stuck in the green point. Oh, RP on two. Screw back. It's gonna be that Urza Warrior and also a Lina. However, Lina ill set on himself, buying some time. That's a disaster for Team Faces. It was great skills landed by Team Faces, but just not enough damage to take any one of Team Happy Feet down. That's. That is that. <laughs> Regeneration. A lot of gold chains. Pretty big gold swing. And sweet. In favorite of team Happy Feet. Man, face it, need to do something about. Now he's just got an Agony Scepter, reduces cooldown and allow Urza to use Enrage while disable. Scepter cooldown time down to around like 24 seconds. Radiance top tower is 
Hvad så? Dyer's middle tower has been denied. On the high ground. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Can't outrun a wildfire. You scepter divinity and Etherlands. That is really big fat Lena. Take a look at his range of Laguna Blades. <laughs> Very long, long range. He has 0 0.25 delay before the damage is applied after the spell is cast. In. That would be another team fight inside the orbit about this strike, but Laguna Blade still works well as usual. Get rid of that ice ice side the core heroes. Here comes you Scepter trying to kill that oh Fate Ship trying to run away, but where is he? Comes out, Earth Chalk finish him off, three down for team faces, pushing forward for happy feet. That will definitely be a rax if Team Faces doesn't have a buyback. Diving in for the other star warrior. Happy feed. Late by Jesse Wedge is about to take the first rack in this game and only one step away to win the whole series. Happy feed is not going to do it's not going to overextend over there. They got what they need actually. Get rid of the trying to shut down the map control of team faces. Seems to be a pretty good idea. Ben is getting closer and closer to his blood thorn. It's just reclaimed already. This will come in handy. First item acronym in state of the skull batter is quite interesting. net worth TA is very high higher than others hurricane pike the high ground fighting faces that's quite risky they're just gonna do some risky move once again if they lose this team fight it will definitely be a barrax first one who goes out side 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 laguna blade had already been applied on that ice side side he's running away with a half hp you scepter trying to set him up light strike array for the black king bar that's kind of surprised but no surprise actually he was stunned by a scout badger rp trying to save the hard carry black still got a thunder to use though here we go, Black moving forward, he doesn't, oh, oh man, he got kinda so hard, didn't even have a chance to use his ultimate, and that's it, Sid. That is a GD call coming out from Ice Ice Ice. 99 has been called by Team Faces. Lost to Team Happy Feet 2-0 in only around 28 minutes. Seems like they have killed it so hard. Right after the Infinite League against Team Ewos. All right, seems like Faces will be going down to our lower bracket. Congratulations for Team Happy Feet to proceed to the next round to fight, if I'm not wrong. It's, it's Team Clutch Gamers. Well, but after this, guys, the main event for today, Team Fnatic, new lineup debut match versus Team TNC is coming up real quick. Just stay here. I'm going to shoot you guys with some ass, and then we'll be back for the game two. I mean, match number two real quick.